Well, hi everybody, Dirk here. Welcome to the dungeon. Uh, it's been a long work week. I'm pretty tired, as you can tell. Um, I haven't really been on chat or anything, but what I have been messing with <clears throat> is this guy. You can hear him, he's already on here. I'm experimenting. That's my uh, vacuum cleaner motor. Yeah, I got those electrodes as close as I can get them to. Yeah, um, with these, uh, I've been reading up a lot about making um, the asynchronous and asynchronous and synchronous um, rotary spark caps. This is an asynchronous because it's uh, pretty much powered from the, uh, the variac here. It's not a, uh, it's not locked onto a a certain RPM rating. So. Uh, uh, there's pros and cons with this, you know, with an asynchronous and a synchronous. I think a synchronous is a lot better, um, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm just too tired to really go through it and explain it, guys, but uh, you have to take my word for it. Um, just, you know, look it up. There's some really good pages. Um, this is a really good step up um, as far as a spark gap is concerned for a Tesla coil, you know, because you have your static, um, you have your static spark gaps, and then you have your rotaries, and the rotaries, I mean, you can really put out some awesome arcs. Oh, you guys like my uh, big dog dish uh, toroid there? It, uh, yeah, well, you'll see. <clears throat> a lot of experimenting, I do get some pretty mean arcs out, out of this guy now. I might try it with a... Uh, a breakout point again. Uh, John was suggesting I use something longer and thicker. I, I'm trying to use this nail here. I don't know if it's gonna do the do, but we can try it. I have to. Uh, Probably not going to work, but we can try it. <clears throat> so a quick test run with that, and I'll just take it off. And uh, you guys should be able to see it. So here we go. stuff I can use. Let me try using this guy. Get a round top on there. Let's try that. Nah. <laughs> like I said guys, I'm just fucking around. I'm tired. I'm all good shit. So. Yeah, I know. Whiny sounding like a baby. <laughs> Anyway.
setting right there. That's a pretty good one. I'm not the mark that I'm a very yet. Try that again with a, a different breakout point. <clears throat> That's a really good setting right there. So with an asynchronous, <clears throat> an asynchronous when you're playing around with the voltage on there, the motor has to actually catch up on the frequency. But uh, you can hit the sweet spot. I don't have anything uh, lighter, I don't think. Try to put my nail on there again. See if that does anything. Sharper point. Try that. How long is this video right now, anyway? Eight minutes. Oh. <laughs> You can tell in the in the pulse um, when it's starting to catch the motor is starting to catch up.
If you start going too many, uh, too slow, you can see what happens. Yep. Oh, it's time to give the NST a break. These Wilma caps, pretty awesome. I did blow one up before, but that's because I uh, I used a damn flyback. It was on a, it was giving out 20 kV. I didn't realize it at the time. But uh, I do have the safety gap here for this, and there's also a safety gap over here. I know you guys can't see it very well. Uh, flashlight. There's a safety gap right in front there. No. I didn't have it up there, but uh, yeah, that's running to the ground, running to the NST. Just letting you guys know. Fifth turn on the primary. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. It'll be a long video, but uh, it's going to be pretty, plenty of fucking cool arcage. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Cheers!